In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can create a sales funnel with HubSpot pages. We're going to be using a tool called CartFuel. So go to cartfuel.io, sign up for a free 14 day trial to follow along with this video tutorial. Once you sign up for the free 14 day trial, you're going to see a dashboard like this. The first thing is you make sure that in your settings, you have your payment gateway connected. So uh, CartFuel connects with Stripe and PayPal. By the time we're watching this video, PayPal will, how, will be released. Um, so for now, just connect your Stripe account. Once you connect your Stripe account, go to external integrations. And then from here, connect your HubSpot account. So you want to make sure that you select the HubSpot account that you want to use. I already have my account connected, so I'm not going to connect it. But all you need to do is select the account and it's as easy as that. Once you're done, you're ready to start setting up the payment form. Now, with HubSpot inherently, uh, it doesn't give you the option to create a payment form like this where you can enter the name, email address, and the card number and then have that information reflect inside of HubSpot, which is why CartFuel is so powerful because you can create this payment form, embed it on your HubSpot landing page, and then once that is embedded, you can uh, send your customers there. They can enter their information and then uh, that information will show up in Hubs HubSpot. So we'll go over everything in this video right now. The first thing that, that you wanna do is create a product sequence. So we're gonna create this payment form, set up the products like that we want. So either it's gonna be a one-time or recurring products, and then we're going to set up all the additional things that we may wanna add to this payment form and then embed it. So the first thing is you wanna give your sequence a name. So let's say that this is a um, HubSpot training video. And then once you give it a name, this is just for internal use, you wanna add a product. So we'll say HubSpot training, and we'll say that this is $20. Okay, from here you can choose the billing frequency of one time or recurring. So if you wanna do recurring, you can bill them um, for a particular month, week, day, and then you can also set up the expiration. So let's say that you wanna cancel this particular subscription after two months, you can do that. Um, but for now, we'll keep it at one time. You can add quantity fields to this particular product. So if it's something that you can sell multiples of, then you could turn this on. You can also charge taxes. Um, so if you have a particular tax rate that everyone is going to get, you can do that. Let's say that you were from a particular region and each region had a different tax rate in, in settings here. You can actually set up um, tax variables basically so that let's say that some person from New Jersey has a New Jersey United States has a different tax route from New York right or if you're in you know Europe and you want to have particular uh, tax rates for different countries you can do that just by going to the settings and then taxes okay so I'm not gonna charge taxes here I'm just gonna save and just to say the taxes are inside of the price so we don't we don't have to um, you can add another product if you want so you can say HubSpot training advanced for example and let's say that this is a hundred dollars so you could have multiple products here and you can give your customers the option to choose which products or one product or products that they want to buy um, you can change the currency and then you can also give it a product description i'm not going to do this because it doesn't actually appear here it appears on the sequence links which is a different thing um, which we can talk about in uh talk about in a bit um, you can charge additional fees here like if you have a service fee you can add a countdown timer so if you have a countdown timer set up already you can select it and then it will count down this one already expired i believe so that's why it's not showing um but you can just set them up here you can add a phone number field so we'll turn that on um and we can also use hubspot forms so for example i, I have this form here i can have this form here and above and then have this form go straight into HubSpot when it's submitted. You don't have to turn this on though. This information will go into HubSpot regardless. So it's all good. You can add shipping fields. Uh, you can add coupons. You can add order bumps. And you can also add donations, um, which is pretty neat. Okay. So now that we have this set up, I'm just going to do a simple one. I don't, I'm not going to, you know, make this super complicated. Now we're going to go to the next step, which is to customize the payment form. So we can choose different fonts. We can choose a different form style. So the two step is they enter their information, like their full name and email address first before they see all of this. We'll do the classic though uh, for now. You can also change the header so you can change this text here. If we don't want this, we can totally delete that. We can change the color of the text. If we want to change it to a different color, we can do that. Maybe this blue. Perfect. Um, and then you can also change the placeholder. So maybe you want to say enter your full name instead of full name 
you can do that here and then that placeholder will be edited you can change the color of the button so let's say we want it to be this green color you can do that with ease and then you can change the button color as well so let's say we wanted it to be I don't know so that's an ugly green huh let's just do black for now I know this is not the best um, let's see that's fine let's just do that um, and then you can change the button size button radius and you can also add URLs here so you can enter the terms of service or privacy policy URL and then that will get replaced down here you can add a custom code a custom CSS get really uh, specific with what you want to do the next step is basically where is this person going to go after they buy this particular product or products right if they are going to go to a thank you page then we can enter the thank you page here and not do anything else but what makes cart feel so powerful is you can actually set up an upsell product page so by toggling this on we can enter a url here to redirect them to another page where they can uh, buy more products from us without having to re-enter their credit or debit card information which is really unique because it allows you to make more money without really having to do much besides offering additional products. So um, because we're going to be using HubSpot, I already have a HubSpot page here um, created. So for you, if whatever you're using, um, if you're following along with this video, then you're going to want to use a HubSpot page. But if you're using like WordPress or something, then you just want to grab the URL or create a page and grab the URL of that page that you're going to use. Okay, so let's go here and let's enter that url here and then down here we can start editing our upsell so we can say let's say it's a hubspot seminar okay and let's say this is going to be um uh three hundred dollars boom perfect so then you can change the button text so i can say yes i want this upsell you can change the button color Perfect. And then again, you can change the size and the radius if you want. And then you can add another upsell if you want as well. Um, if you want to add another upsell, the after upsell tab, you just enter the URL of the second upsell. Um, in this case, I'm just going to enter the URL of the thank you page that I have set up here. So we'll just get rid of this and get rid of that real quick. And then I'm just going to enter that there. And then for the no thank you URL, I'm going to enter that URL there as well. Uh, you can change this text if you want. I'm just going to keep it the same. Click on next step. And then step four is about integration. So Cartfield connects with Kajabi or Rewardful. So you can um, set this up and then connect. So basically, if you're selling a course or something like that, you can uh, send them immediately to that course in Kajabi as soon as they buy inside of your payment form. The next step, uh, step five, which is the last step, is uh, email. So you can actually send an email from Cartfield and you know we'll, they will send the email from their end. Um, but you don't have to, it's totally up to you. If you want to send the email from HubSpot or any other CRM, you can do that, but it's nice to have. Um, I'll save this and now we're going to place our embed. So you don't have to know anything about code. All you need to do is just copy this and copy this and I'll show you exactly where you need to uh, paste those codes. But if you get stuck, here's a short little video that you can watch. Um, it's basically the same on every other system. As long as your platform or landing page builder allows embeds, it's going to be the same process. So for HubSpot, what we're going to do is locate the page that we're going to sell our first initial product. So in this case, it's going to be the HubSpot training video and the HubSpot training video advanced. So what we're going to do is just go to our page here. I'm going to click on edit. Um, and actually, before I click on edit, though, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the asset marketplace because there is one thing that you need to make sure you have. It's a free module. Before we dive into the rest of the video, we like to thank our video sponsor, CartFuel. CartFuel is the easiest and quickest way for you to accept one-time and recurring payments in HubSpot. All you need to do is connect your Stripe or PayPal account, configure your payment form by adding countdown timers, coupons, or order bumps, then copy and paste the code they provide you onto any site, including WordPress or HubSpot pages. Did we mention CartFuel has one-click upsells? That's right, your customers can order more products without having to re-enter their credit or debit card with a single click. But you want to know what's the best part? When a sale occurs with CartFuel, your customer's name, email address, phone number, and products they purchase will teleport into HubSpot. It's like magic. This means you can trigger workflows to boost customer retention and decrease refund rates. 
All this and more with no custom code needed. Try Cart Fuel for free for 14 days by clicking the link in the description or comment section of this video. All right, let's get back to the content. But what you need to do is just type in HTML and then hit enter. And then you're gonna grab this uh, HTML module, okay? And it's a free module. You don't have to pay for anything. Just install it into your HubSpot account, and then you'll be able to embed the uh, cart fuel embeds on your on your page. So let's go back to that page and let's um, edit this so I can show you exactly how to do it. So on your page, what you're going to do is first just find that HTML module by typing that in, and then locate where you want that code to go. So in our case, um, I'm just going to get rid of this and show you if I can get rid of it, <laughs> it's like tricky. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll just drag it over. I can't delete it for some reason, but all right. So we have our HTML element. We're just going to drag this over like so. And now we're just going to click on it and we're going to go to cart fuel and copy the first code paste and copy the second code and then paste and then we're going to click on apply changes and then we're going to click on update and we're going to click on uh, update page now so you can see that that payment form that we just created um, is now on our main our main uh, page where we're going to be selling this product but we cannot sell this just yet because we have an upsell that we need to set up so what we're going to do is do that same process but on you know, an upsell page so we're going to locate the, uh, the test page that we set up for the upsell and we're going to do that same process we're just going to drag in that HTML element and I already have one here but I'll delete it you want to drag in that HTML element where you want your upsell to show and then you're going to come in here and all you need to do is just click and paste so simple click and paste all right apply changes and then we're going to uh, update this page and we'll update the page now now we're ready to test it so if you want to test it what you need to do it's because uh, because I'm on a dev account, actually, I'm not going to turn this on. But for you, because you're on a live application, you need to turn this test mode on um, and then save it again. But because I'm in a dev account, my account is basically in test mode already. So um, I don't need to do that. But for you, just turn this on and then save it. So now let's go back to our main test page. So it's going to be this page and we're going to click on view. So once you click on view, you'll see your landing page like this. And then you can see here that our payment form has been embedded properly. So now let's test this out. So I'm going to select credit card and I'm going to enter my name here. So I'll say Jelani test Aug one and we'll enter some uh, email here. And we'll enter a phone number. And for the card number, I'm just going to put 42424242242, which is a test card. And I'm going to select both of these and then I'll say, yes, I want this. And this is going to redirect me to the upsell page that we created. So you can see here, this is our upsell page and we can say, yes, I want this upsell. So the HubSpot uh, seminar. And then after that, it's going to redirect us to the order complete page. So now let's go see into our HubSpot account and see if that contact made it. So we go to contacts and then we'll go here. So that is it. So all of my information is here, my name, email address, phone number, and then also all the products that I purchased are here as well so that you can use this data and create workflows to follow up with these people or send them into a pipeline so that your sales team can contact them. But with this, you're able to do a lot more um, that you wouldn't normally be able to do because like I said, HubSpot doesn't inherently allow you to offer this type of this type of selling. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure that you leave a comment down below if you want to see more content like this. I would love to know what you want to see in regards to HubSpot and how you can use it to uh, better your business. So I'll see you guys in the next video.